Jenny Wade was born in Gettysburg 20 years prior to the Battle of Gettysburg. One of six children, she helped earn money for her family by becoming a seamstress with her mother, Mary Ann Wade. Jenny may have become engaged to her childhood friend, Jack Scully, before the war, since she had a photo of him in her pocket when she died. However, there was no official engagement announcement or a wedding before he enlisted in the 87th Pennsylvania Infantry, where he served as a corporal. Georgiana, Jenny's sister, who was known as Georgia, also became engaged before the war and married her sweetheart in 1862. The couple moved into a two-story red brick house at 548 Baltimore Street, Gettysburg, the house that later became known as the Jenny Wade House. On July 1, 1863, Jenny and her mother moved into Georgia's house to care for her and her newborn son and to hopefully be safe from the impending battle. On the morning of July 3rd, Jenny awoke early to fetch water and knead dough to make bread and biscuits. The dough she was kneading was destined to become the bread for the soldiers. Unfortunately, a bullet flew through two closed doors and hit her in the shoulder. She died instantly. The dough that Jenny was kneading at the time of her death was also later baked into bread by her mother. It made 15 loaves and was distributed to Union soldiers. In 1900, with tireless efforts by Georgia, Jenny was given a large gravestone and a raised American flag. It is one of the few sites in the United States where an ongoing raised flag is raised in honor of a woman.